Lizette Gonzalez, Miss Florida. It was 1998 while studying at the University of Miami when I stumbled upon the Miss America system. I won Miss Miami, Miss Florida, and went on to compete at Miss America and was named... The second runner-up is Miss Florida, Lisette Gonzalez. She had actually earned over $50,000. Lisette Gonzalez graduated debt-free from college because of this organization, because of the Miss America organization. And all that jazz, I hear that father dip is gonna blow the blue. The difference in the Miss America organization and other pageants is that we have talent. And you know, talent's embraced today with all the, the shows, American Idol, and so you think you can dance, and all of these things. Well, we were doing this a long time ago. This year, 46 contestants from around the Sunshine State will be vying for the title of Miss Florida. And although talent will make up the bulk of the score, they will be judged on how well-rounded, educated, and articulate they are, not to mention the traditional evening wear and lifestyle and fitness competitions. Winning the title of Miss Florida meant a year of opportunity. And I know many people think that a beauty pageant winner is just someone who's pretty or looks nice in an evening gown and stands there and smiles and waves all year long. But it's much more than that. It's very hard work and it's really about empowering young women. Miss America is the world's largest scholarship provider for women. It certainly was an empowering experience for me in addition to the scholarship opened many doors. That's why I am so honored to host the Miss Florida pageant this Saturday night on our sister station, My 33 at 8 p.m. Hope you tune in. I'm Lisette Gonzalez for CBS 4 News.